27 cars come round to take the start. The penultimate race in the final round, and it's a brilliant getaway from the Corvette. And already we've got a place change because Mathieu Jaminet up the inside into second place. Really, really good, but very tight down the midfield. But that, luckily for Philippe Eng, is behind him. But, oh, what a start we've had. But what a terrible start from the outside of the front row from Lucas Stoltz. He's, he's been edged back to, down to second, nearly go, down to third, nearly worked his way back even further at the first corner. Of course, you have a, someone going wide, gaining a bit of ground by running wide. And then we have the spinners down at the back of the field. Now, which of the Lamborghinis? It looks as though it's the one from eighth place overall. Rolf in Eichen going for a spin, having started out here. Indy Donchi in the bright green. Oh, dear. Will we have a safety car? I think we will. We have a, the track is block, blocked. The Nissan is off. One of these Au Audis is off. So they didn't get as far as the hairpin on the opening lap. And I'm afraid we'll have to have a replay to see who, see who triggered that. Now, is the BMW still going? Philip Eng is, I think that was... That was just around the point where his car was in the field. The uh, man filter Mercedes has got going again. That was involved in the clash. Still racing at race speed at the front of the field. It's Gunnar leading the way. Uh, tenth place for Katzberg. He's risen to tenth. That is a, uh, just a uh, Remo Lips and the red flag. Not surprised. Red flag brought out there. So uh, a multiple shunt. Remo Lips out of the number 22 Nissan. That was down towards the tail of the order. I feel he probably got caught up in what happened ahead of him. You can see damage on the nose of the 84 Mercedes as well. That's Patrick Assenheimer sharing with Maxi Gotts. So these are the cars that started around the tail end of this 27 car field. So we've lost the, the number 22 Nissan. The 84 Mercedes is damage but not too heavily we've lost in fact that, that must be the the grass of Lamborghini at the back that be Ezekiel Perez compact who only last weekend was one of the stars at the uh, Blanc Pan sprint race at the Nürburgring this weekend he's uh, found the other end of the stick and the number nine Audi also out of the mix so that's Elia Earhart so red flag Jugunon forms up in on the grid as do all those behind him. So Jaminet worked his way up with that brilliant start into second place and the number 21. Mercedes at start up on the outside of the front row is down into third, got muscled out at the first corner. So vast majority of the field coming back round, but clearly we've got two, if not three fallers out at, uh, out at the Parabolica. So I think it was possibly cars running wide at the Bernie Eccleston curve, but coming back onto the circuit and uh, maybe trying to go two or three abreast and then things going slightly wrong. And we also reckon it was the number 19 Lamborghini, didn't we? So there we have it. It's the majority of the runners. And you can see the man filters Mercedes. That started 12th on the grid. It's the penultimate place. So he has three cars out. We've got the number nine Audi which was Earhart starting and Christopher Hur waiting to take it over. Won't get a race today by the looks of things. Remo Lips, we saw him get out. So riding on board with Remo Lips, what happens up ahead of him? There's the Lamborghini on his inside. It's all under control there. Round the Bernie Eccleston curve. Very useful having this camera on board. One of the cars that ended up in trouble. Lamborghini goes to the outside. Someone kicks up the dirt. Oh, two cars off and then the... Well, Remo Lips, you felt he, he did a brilliant, brilliant job of trying to thread the eye of a needle and it just didn't quite work quite work so uh, i'm afraid totally innocent party in there now have a look from the front it was a couple of cars ahead the mercedes runs off the circuit two other cars go off the circuit okay they come back oh dear ironically one grt lamborghini comes on and uh, causes the other to go spinning round. so big impact there for ezekiel perez compank and the other grasso lamborghini i'm afraid actually uh, played a role in that which was rolf in eichen rejoining the circuit so very very unfortunate race stopped as you can see the clock still counts down riding with nicky katzberg bear in mind this is a championship challenging car now that's yellow mercedes on his right the doncha got caught out there's the Audi that uh, got in trouble. Now, the first of the Lamborghinis hits the grass on his side, goes through a spin. <gasps> that was a big, big save. So, Philip Eng owes a big pat on the back. His championship hopes are still alive, but they could have been almost extinguished there. No wonder Philip has just aged many years. Charlie Lamb has been there, seen it, done it. But that was the closest of misses for the car that is starting second in the championship battle. Could have been almost over and out. So, Philip Eng massively, massively relieved. It is a case of guesswork many a time. Do you aim at the car that's spinning? A huge off there for Indy Doncha, but uh, eventually after his uh, day out farming, he rejoins the circuit. No damage done, just in fact ahead of one of the GRT Lamborghinis, but unfortunately we have one of them stationary on the circuit there. The start is under investigation, and the cars 
being included in the incident under investigation a nine, which we know that's the Audi Avelia heart, 19, which we also know is Ezekiel Perez Compact's Lamborghini, 22, which is Remo Lips, he was the innocent party in the Nissan, and number six, which was the HB Racing Lamborghini, Florian Spengler. So there are the battered cars on the circuit. The debris being cleared up. Can't quite see what the damage is to Remo Lips's Nissan, but he's so nearly managed to get away with that incident. So Nicky Katzberg out and about. How he missed that, I do not know, but uh, he's made it back round to the grid in about... Um, he's trying to see what position he's listed at. Well, they haven't listed the times past the first four. They put the red flag out before... Uh, we could see how many places gained, but it looks like he's moved to about 10th position. But as a racing lap wasn't completed, the cars will go back into their grid order. So we'll have a, a, a clock. Well, the race is now stopped, obviously, after that, after the red flag. But uh, there for Jules Gounon, plenty of advice. Do another start like that. You did absolutely everything right. For those behind, they'll all have stories to tell. Robert Renauer down in the mix going, how did you miss it? How did I miss it? I do not know. But uh, a real case of guesswork. But um, a lot of the runners down there... It was uh, a moment where it could have all gone very wrong and they probably don't even know how it didn't go wrong because cars were spinning everywhere, unfortunately. Again, cars running a little bit uh, too deep into the Bernie Eccleston curve and then others going off on the exit of the corner and then getting it wrong as the track starts to arc away through the parabolica at the back side of the circuit. Good to see some people are smiling, but I think it's relief as much as anything that they did not get caught up in that incident. And... Uh, Good to see that none of the championship challengers did. Ride aboard again with Remo Lips, who started the race down just outside the top 20 positions. And then, look, cars coming from the left and the right. The number nine Audi, Ilya Earhart, don't, you know, ran across the right of the circuit, clattered Ezekiel Porris Compact, who was already seeing one of his teammates spinning out on the grass. And um, I, you don't want to point blame, but I don't think Perez Compact was to blame for that one. He got hit from the side. And in the pit lane, it's a, a sharp exhalation of breath. Hmm. So, very difficult indeed. Jules Gounon did nothing pit lane. Philippe Eng most certainly can, but he's done a brilliant job so far. He's got to do it all over again. Barrier repair has been, has been slightly repaired at the back. That should be, should be fine. So, again, the front of the grid, as I look down from the commentary position, it's a Corvette on pole, a Mercedes on second, a Porsche on third, Audi on fourth. Fabulous variety. Then behind a Mercedes uh, and a Porsche, Audi, Lamborghini, so five mates of cars in the top eight positions. So here's a replay. Remo Lips, Sherry Mark Gassner, and the Audi came across, clattered one of the Lamborghinis, which just missed... Oh, in fact, the other Lamborghini, the HB Racing one, which we saw frontal damage to a short while, was just in front. That must have clattered someone else just in front of these Lamborghinis. Now we're looking backwards. That was backwards from the... Uh, I think that was the 19 at per Perez Compact car, but so you can see some people actually braked on the back, back straight or more to the point.